In this work, we address the problem of how to easily and intuitively edit everyday videos in a consistent manner. For example, mapping textures onto objects like this flower on a dress or the coloring on the bench. Note that shadows are correctly preserved in the edits. Our method works by decomposing an input video into a set of layered 2D atlases. Each video position is mapped onto the atlases, which provide a unified representation of the video. This allows us to perform video editing by directly editing the atlases and then mapping them back to the original video in a consistent manner. Our approach works by computing functions that map from the input video coordinates, x, y, time, to UV coordinates of foreground and background atlases. We simultaneously estimate the RGB colors of the atlases themselves, as well as a per pixel, per layer alpha transparency value. We can then use these three things to render out a reconstructed video by compositing the layers together. Mappings, atlases, and alphas are all represented by coordinate-based MLPs, which allows the system to be trained with a simple reconstruction loss. We also introduce several regularization losses to improve convergence. Please see the paper for details. As input, we require the original video as well as a coarse mask that identifies what regions should belong to each layer. This part can be computed automatically, for example, using mask RCNN, or be provided by a user, shown here. During optimization, the network can correct for inaccuracies in the input mask and also model secondary effects such as shadows, so the input masks do not have to be particularly accurate. Here we show some example decomposition visualizations. In each case, we start with the learned atlases, followed by the input video, a visualization of the mapping and transparency, and the reconstructed video. We can see, in the cases that the atlases are reconstructed well, that the mapping generally tracks with the object as it moves through the video. In addition, while the input coarse masks were obtained using automatic mask RCNN segmentation, we can see that the decomposition includes secondary effects such as shadows and fine details at the borders. Here we show some results of edited videos using our approach. In each case, only a single image was edited. These edits are done by directly drawing on the input atlas or frame. Or by using existing image editing operations like neural stylization. We can even change the background of a scene by replacing the atlas with another image entirely. Here we show an example of a failure case of our method. In this video, the foreground character undergoes rapid motion and large deformation, and the resulting atlas is incomplete. For example, it is missing the legs of the man. In these missing regions, we have no usable mapping, and so we cannot place edits there. Instead, the network tries to incorrectly render the limbs using the alpha channel. When we edit the background using the atlas shown at the bottom right, the edits track well with the motion of the camera, but the occlusions are incorrect in these missing regions. Thank you for your time.